Hi everybody. So it's without a doubt, technology is marvellous, but it's like shoes. I mean, I'm supposed to be a size 8, but my shoes don't quite fit. And you can understand why this is. In order to mass produce, they have to aim at the middle of a block. You can't make individual bits for somebody, unless of course you want to pay for that. But I'm not paying £16,000 for a pair of shoes. And so I buy a size 8 and put up with the fact that my feet slop around a little bit in my shoes and technology. It's just the same. You buy something and it's never quite what you want it to be so you have to muck around with it unless you want to spend an absolute fortune so when i come across something that is so mind-numbingly suitable that it's a work of true genius i feel i have to share it with you now i'm doing a lot of 3d printing and it's occurred to me many times that the videos would be better if i did a time lapse of the 3d print as it's being made and this involves lots of things that you wouldn't really think about and then I came across this method, and this method uses nothing more than a normal USB camera. I know that you can use thousands of alternatives like your phone or a normal camera or a GoPro or a whole host of things, but if you don't want to do a lot of mucking about or spend a fortune or worry about it running out of power or storage space, then this can really be an amazing answer and it comes with all of the software as part of your operating system and one simple free and cheap and easy download and all you do is stick this in position and plug it into your computer so that you're looking at your 3d printer set your camera up and point it at your printer then plug it into the usb port now it's plugged in, I can start the software, and I'm using Windows 11, although I believe Windows 10 is pretty much identical. And there's the camera app, because I'm going to use the Microsoft software that comes with the operating system. And here, presto, you get an image, surprisingly enough, of the bed of my 3D printer. Now if we look to the left-hand side, we can see that there's a little icon saying Photo Timer. If I click on that, we can see that there's a 2 second timer, a 5 second timer, and a 10 second timer. And we're going to use the 10 second timer because the Triceratops head is going to take about 12 hours to print, and that's going to be something in the region of 4,000 photographs. If I then click that button there to take a picture, it will wait for 10 seconds. And then take a picture. And it will reset the timer and take another pe picture in another 10 seconds. And it will continue to do that until I hit that camera button again, which will stop the timer. So it'll take a picture every 10 seconds for however long I want it to, without me worrying about things like running out of disk space, because of course I'm using the computer disk and that's one terabyte, or running out of power because it's been run from the wall socket. If I go to my camera roll folder, we'll see the photographs there. And we can see there are 3869 photographs, which to be honest is a challenge for any program to stitch together as a time lapse. But of course that's the next thing we need to do. Now you should notice that when it takes the photographs, it gives them a file name in numbered sequential order, and that's kind of important, but it does do it automatically. Now, if I want to make that better, it's maybe a question of a better camera, maybe a better position, maybe more lighting, maybe a pretty little backdrop so that it shows up better, something like that. But the essential is always going to be the same. Now, once we've got that many ridiculous photographs, of course, we do have to stitch them together into a time-lapse video. And because there's about 4,000 of them, it's pretty challenging, actually. I tried this in OpenShot and crashed the program. I also tried it in Microsoft's um, video-making program, which is just pants, really. But then I came across this. It's a Microsoft Store app called Timelapse Creator by Kyle Worley, and it's free. So, of course, what I did was click install. The install was really quick, and this is the start screen, and it's so simple. Click on the import folder, camera roll, select that folder, then your frame rate. We're going to do 24 frames per second, and then start, and it will import them and create that time-lapse video for you. And there it goes. So it took about a minute to do that. It got all of the frames, and as you can see, it's created my time-lapse for me. 
Because that we can save it to where we want to save and we have our phone. And that was so stunningly easy, it's what I mean when I say they get it right on occasion because that was just a breeze and it produced for me my time lapse video. <laughs> And there is my Triceratops skull all cleaned up. Anyway, I thought that was huge fun. Potentially very helpful to know about and this is going to become a present for my grandson who is five and who doesn't love dinosaurs when you're five. I'll put the link to this uh, STL in the description at the bottom. It will be on Thingiverse of course. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.